Ah, get there, guys. As you all know me, as a mentor, Nasdaq Ninja. So, guys, before I can continue, can you please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified once I upload. So, guys, uh, I just wanted to show you guys that I've managed to fund 20,000. You know, I funded 20,000 around uh, 6 a.m. And then around 8, I took trades and I managed to make like approximately uh, 50 4k you understand and then after all around nine i took another trade i managed to make like um it was actually approximately 50k as well it was 60k and then those trades actually made me a profit of 127k in two hours you understand so i traded twice but in two hours i managed to make 127k so i just wanted to show you on how did i manage to make 127k you understand so at the end of the day guys like i always tell you guys for more information and everything please guys go to my whatsapp numbers on the comment section and then contact me for full courses signals and everything so guys i'm going to show you guys on how actually i was able to make uh 127k in two hours you know you know guys if you can go to that uh free uh lesson that we showed you we talked about something called time you know time cycle you know so time cycle actually helps you to know when will the market move you know rather than trading any times whereby the market it's not moving you understand so trade uh time it's a very important so let me show you what i did in london session so Actually, let me go to 30 minutes and show you why did I enter certain trade, you understand? So, and I have a strategy, a new strategy whereby uh, it actually alerts me on which direction I could actually take, you understand? So, that strategy is like the most strategy that actually will be a change game, you understand? Whereby it will be the most significant strategy ever, you get the point? So, at the end of the day, you know, I realized that at this certain point, I have what do I call... Uh, correction you understand so it's like an impulse correction you know i just needed two candlesticks to make 120k you understand i just needed two candlesticks so if you can get the point here the market has to do a certain movement like this and then the next thing it pushes to the top side but if i ask you how many times did you it kick you out you understand so uh what i realize is around london session i realized that at this certain places i have to take an opposite direction so i took a cell and then i closed somewhere here you understand because here at this certain point i had a support here you understand i had a support and actually i had a demand as well so i realized that i had a support then i closed on the support so around nine i entered so from that cell i made approximately 50k and then from this buy i made approximately 60k you understand so in all that profit uh, calculated to 127k so when it pushed up so i closed somewhere here so by this two candlestick i managed to make 127k and which like uh gave me uh, a more confident into the market to understand that okay the market will still like respect most of the things understand even though i understand most of you could have entered with uh this correction understanding that at that certain time you could be uh taking buying opportunities but in my understanding you know due to that new strategy you know it gave me like boundaries to say no due to this side i'm saying it's a buy i feel like the other side is going it's going to be uh, a sell, you know, and as much as you can see, it gave me those two things and I marked, even here, it gave me a buy, you know, it was the most thing that I ever seen and it was working quite a well, you understand? So, so without wasting no time, guys, let's jump into this week update and see what is it that we actually have, you understand? So let's go to our weekly time frame as normal and usual, you get the point. So let's go to our weekly time frame. So this is our weekly time frame. You can see, man, the market is moving quite well. You know, 2023, it's actually giving us the most, uh, you know, like a proper road. Like the market is moving fine. You know, what's left is you to make money. You get the point. So if you can check at this certain point, uh, this is what I actually have here. I just have this kind of things here, which I call zones. Every video actually says that video zones. You understand? So... Just have to go around those videos and check it out. So this is how it is, you know. I might just create those zones, you know. Every day I do that, you know, without any lazy moments or anything, I just do that. You get the point. So you need to always do that in order for you to become more profitable. Because if you don't do that, I feel like it's a problem, you know. Other people are just lazy to do it. 
So here I'm just gonna put it here. And if I can check here, I have a proper third touch, first touch, second touch, third touch here, which can actually allow the market falling furthermore to the bottom side. You understand? You know, sometimes it doesn't matter what's happening in the other sides. What matters is the bigger sides. What, what is it that we're having on the bigger side? So for me, I feel like uh, the third touch is being respected. It's being respect, touched, reversed, made money. You know, now we need to see what is it that we can cater and what is it that we can enter, you understand? So remember, guys, at the moment, you know, like I told you, I mostly scalped and swinging trades, you know, because, you know, that is why other people, they don't understand how I trade. Others, they call it gambling, you know. I wish I could call it gambling if I wasn't making money, but because I'm making money, remember, making money makes sense. You get the point. So let's not confuse the two. You might know a lot, but don't make money. And then, you know less and make money. You get the point. It's like in class, you know, there are those people who know English better than everyone. But when the exam and everything comes, the reports, they're the most one which fails. You get the pen. So don't be that one. Be that one which get the point. You understand who makes it. Understand. You don't have to know everything in order to make it. You need to know the things that will make you to make it. That is the biggest fact. Write it down and never forget about it. So at the end of the day, I'm going to just push to the daily time frame and see uh what is it that I have in the daily time frame that can actually advise me and which trade I can actually take. You get the point. So I'm on a daily time frame. So I can see that, okay, my candlesticks here, they are weak. You understand? You know, they don't have no power to push to furthermore to the top side. But I get the point that, oh, here we had a third touch, which was actually respected very well. But I'm still feeling those buys, you know, they can be there, you know, somewhere, somehow, you know. But at the end of the day, that will actually tell me when I get furthermore to the less time frames. You understand? So here I'll check what is it that I can add. I can actually add a mini zone here whereby I can see the candlestick rejected very well here. There's something strong here which can actually make the market to reverse. So at the end of the day, let's push to H4 and see what is it that we have on an H4 time frame. So now we're going to H4. So H4, we can see that, okay, probably here we have uh, a rising wedge, you know, a rising wedge. This is the only pattern that I use in the market. Not actually only, but this is the most pattern that I trust into the market. We have a rising wedge and we can see the market is actually reversing very well, you know. So at this certain point, we can see that the market as well reversed very well, you know. So here I'm starting to have another confirmation of the market you know i feel like my first trade was the most convenient one you know disobeying the correction you know i can see at this certain place i need to expect selling opportunities so i might just go there you know when i analyze man like everything becomes easy for me so i can realize that at this certain point that's where we're supposed to take ourselves which we took at first, but we exited because we wanted to milk the buys, you know? And then we as well milk the buy, which is the nice thing. We milk the buys and exited. So it was supposed for us to enter sales again here, yeah, sell, sell, sell. And then we hold for a long time because I believe that the market is actually going there to the bottom, bottom side. The market is actually going there. So here it gave us proper confirmation. As I told you, the candlestick are too weak to push furthermore to the top side. So for us here, we just have to forget a little bit about this correction because we need to be expecting selling opportunities understand so let's push to 30 minutes time frame then we're done with this point understand so here what you can do is you can just create a certain place which you can enter at you know the market will just reject here and the next thing will push further more to the bottom side so guys at the end of the day guys this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching this one